Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, there's been a question for a long time about, you know, is melatonin linked to breast cancer? And there's some very good evidence to show that higher melatonin levels actually decreases the risk of breast cancer. Now, melatonin is a hormone that's made in the pineal gland in the brain. And late at night, when it gets dark, uh, melatonin is naturally secreted. And, one of the, and melatonin does a number of things. It helps you get into a deeper sleep. It's also a brain antioxidant. You know, the brain uses 20% of the body's oxygen, and there's a lot of free radicals in the brain that can damage the brain. Melatonin helps to mop up some of those uh, free radicals to protect the brain. Melatonin also has uh, effects on enhancing immune system function. And when the immune cells are more intelligent, if they see a cancer cell, they can kill that cell with a greater degree of efficacy. The other thing is that certain receptors uh, on cells of the body, so the breast cells, for instance, have melatonin receptors. When melatonin attaches to those receptors, it slows down the rate at which breast cells are dividing. It does the same thing on the male prostate gland, actually. But when cells are dividing more slowly, there's less of a chance that cancer will develop. See, when, when cells are dividing too fast, they make more genetic mistakes that can actually lead to cancerous mutations. Now here's the thing, in the aging process, melatonin levels tend to drop down quite significantly. By age 40, melatonin is down quite low. And by the time you're 70 years old, your, your melatonin is down by about 90% compared to someone who's about 12 years old. And in Italy, Dr. Lissoni recently showed that using melatonin as part of the treatment of breast and prostate cancer has actually been one of the adjunctive measures that's helped to stabilize the, the disease when used with other medical therapies. So low melatonin in other studies has been shown to be linked to an increased risk of breast cancer. For instance, women who, who sleep in a room that's not really dark, they don't make as much melatonin. When their melatonin's lower, there's been a link towards greater risk of breast cancer. The same is true for people who work night shifts, where they're not really getting the normal day and darkness type of exposure. Your body now makes less melatonin increased risk of breast cancer has been associated in studies like that as well. So many experts think that it's a good idea to start using melatonin supplementation to prevent cancer, particularly breast and prostate cancer, after the age of 40. So I would refer you to the book by Dr. Russell Ryder, who's the neuroendocrinologist at the medical school at the University of Texas. His book on this subject is outstandingly good. But there's a number of lifestyle practices that help to reduce risk of breast cancer. Melatonin may just be one of them. So to see other important lifestyle strategies you should be using to reduce risk of breast cancer, I suggest strongly that you download my 10-step breast cancer prevention program right now. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my published review papers, uh, different videos, live footage from my seminars, my professional seminars. Uh, downloads, other resources that can help you live a long, healthy, functional life. My review articles and teaching materials come uh, fully equipped with all the scientific references to ensure that you're getting accurate, evidence-based scientific information on each health topic. So be sure to use MachinoHealth.com on an ongoing basis as a very reliable source of health and wellness information for you and your family. And thanks for watching. Thank you.